Hello! Hooray! I've actually been sent a thing to review, and it is a video game thing. Here it is. It is a bit boy, or possibly bitter to boy, I'm not sure. Everything old is retrolution. That makes no sense and isn't even a word. But anyway, we appreciate the little pixel face. So, the idea behind this is a tiny wee little handheld Game Boy with a modern screen that actually plays old uh, NES games, or technically Famicom games here, because uh, they're mostly the Japanese versions, I believe. Look, here it is explained on the box. It's got a power LED. It's got direction buttons. You can turn it on and off. What a world we live in. So, uh, oh, that's odd. So this is available in uh, multiple colours. Red, black, sky blue, white. I happen to know that the one in this box is yellow, so I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. Anyway, <clears throat> material. ABS, that is a plastic, 2.2 inch IPS screen, now we're talking, 360 degree full viewing angle on display. Well, that's clearly not correct, is it? Because how can you possibly view a screen from 360 degrees? You'd have to be able to view it from behind, where the back of it is. Come on, guys. It's very small, languages English, 300... 300 Famicom games preloaded. That's not true, there's 129 games preloaded on it. <laughs> Is this box for something slightly different? We've got a couple of weird things there. Games are English version and no Chinese. What's wrong with Chinese? Um, but uh, that's not true. A lot of them are Japanese as well. My God, this is weird, isn't it? 500 milliamp hour lithium battery rechargeable. Battery life two to three hours. That is correct, actually, because in my tests it gave me about two and a half hours. So that's pretty good. And can connect with TV via AV out cable. That is a truth. And they give you the cable as well. The battery life varies depending on the temperature and usage. Again, that is true. But yeah, it doesn't give you anywhere near that many games. That's weird. And uh, yeah, 360 degree angle just doesn't make any sense. But it does have a very wide viewing angle. It is a good screen. There, there. Don't get upset. So what do you get inside? Obviously, the thing. That's kind of the point. Here it is, in a bag to protect it from your spit. And AVO cable and uh, micro USB to charge it up with. Simple as that. Let's open the bag and I'll give you a quick look at it. It's very yellow and it's got a horribly scratched screen protector on, but you can just peel that off, and it all looks fresh as new. For this is indeed quite new. Can we, uh... Oh, man, it's really hard to open the back of these, just to show you the lithium-ion battery. I actually can't open that with my finger, that's astonishing. Um, well, there's just a battery inside, it's one of them lithium-ion ones. Anyway, we're going to chuck that over there, because I'm going to be using this other one, because I was sent two for some reason. Uh, in fact, I was going to give this one away as a present to the uh, Super 8-Bit Power Hour podcast, because I went to their uh, live recording of their 100th show, and I forgot to give it to them. So sorry, guys. <laughs> it's still here. I'll, I'll give it to you the next time I see one of you. Um, so this is the one I've kept for myself, because I enjoy the uh, classic Famicom colour more. Mm. Not only white, but also red and a bit of grey. So, quick size comparison. That's how big that is. That's how big an original Game Boy is. It's a tiny little thing, yet the screen is about the same size, just slightly shorter. Hmm, and the D-pad's the same size. Buttons are smaller, that's it really. So what do you get here? D-pad, little bit, mm, yeah, you have to be a little bit overly firm with it. Sometimes a little bit spongy, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all, actually. It's better than a lot of D-pads I've used recently. There's A and B buttons. These T buttons, I don't understand. They just seem to be repeated for A and B. Maybe if it's, you know, you're more comfortable holding it that way. R will reset it, select and start buttons. You've got a power button. <gasps> You've got a slot that's exactly the right size to put a micro SD card in. And if you put it in, it will just fall into the case because it's literally just a slot. It's just a hole in the case. There is no housing for a micro um, SD card in it, which means maybe they planned to put one in and then it was too late to change the case. Maybe they'll add one in the future? I don't know. It's all very odd, that. Volume control at the side, and at the bottom you've got uh, what looks like a headphone socket. It was actually a bit too small because it is for the old uh, AV out cable there. It's a two and a half jack rather than a three and a half. And micro USB in order to charge it. Right, that's that then. Let's turn on and see how 300 games, which are actually 129. God damn it, I think they said 198 earlier. I can't remember what I said. I was wrong if I didn't say 129. Anyway, that's really thrown me that. So there's another model around. Does that mean there's another model with 300 games? Did that just not happen? I'm going to look into it. And uh, actually, I'm going to look into it now, jump cut, and then come back. 
Right, so I looked into it. Um, I looked up some other reviews, actually, because I don't normally look at reviews, so I'm going to review something, because, you know, they might poison your mind with lies and other opinions. Um, but, yeah, apparently a lot of them they reviewed had 300 games on, but uh, other people got one with 129. I find that very, very, very confusing. But anyway, this is the 129 game model. If you buy one, I cannot promise there will be more games than that. There, that's got that out of the way. Right, turn around again. You will notice the power LED is a little bit too bright and there's a little bit uh, shining blue in your eyes from certain angles. You might want to put a bit of tape over that if you get on with it. So, one, two, nine in one! Look how clear that bloody screen is. Even on camera that looks good. Um, and it is good. It genuinely is. Um, I've got no complaints. Also, the speaker is really good. It's just a little mono speaker in there, but it sounds really clear and it's got a lot of volume to it. So, all your favourite games! Jackal, that one with the Jeep! Russian Attack, or as we called it, uh, Green Beret. Adventure Island, various versions. Super Mario, Gradius, Super Mario 3, Hot Basketball, Hot High School, Hot Ice Hockey, Hot March. Bloody hell, everything's hot, isn't it? Um, these hot games appear to be the River City Ransom spin-offs, of which there were many, 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 many. Um, didn't they all come from the old arcade game uh, Renegade? I'm sure they did, and they spun off into Double Dragon. It was all a big tapestry of various games. Rockman 3, Rockman being the Japanese name for Mega Man. I'm sure you get all this. Now, there's a lot of games on here, 129 to be exact, but um, they are missing a lot of the big names. You haven't got any Zelda on here, there's various other things not on. Um, you know, there's a, there's a good selection of games, but uh, there's just four Double Dragons. I think there was a Double Dragon 4, isn't that one they did recently with retro graphics? You've got three Ninja Turtles games, Turtle Fighter, only Mega Man uh, 3 and 5, interesting. Turtle Fighter, oh is that that one-on-one -on -one, um, game they did? Yeah, the one-on-one -on -one fighter, that was bigger on Super Nintendo, wasn't it? I remember. Um, what else have we got? Chip and Dale 2, this time it's personal. Katu Nindente, that's got a cat in I reckon. Uh, Ninja Gaiden 1, 2 and 3, that's all good. Robocop. Robocop 2 and... Robocop 4? Right, I'm starting that. How is there a Robocop 4? Is that actually... See, I'm not really up on uh, NES games. Is that actually a thing? I'm going to put the volume up very slightly. A production. They've removed all the logos or something? Robocop. I can't make out the number at the side. I'm not sure. Has, has he got a child? A young child on his shoulder wielding an Uzi? Man, this is the greatest game ever already. Right, just get on with it, get on with it. Cadillac Heights, Dusk. Rescue your trapped colleagues from the clutches of the evil Splatterpunks. Splatterpunks, then that's probably Robocop 3, I would have thought. Bang, bang, bang. I can't really see what I'm doing, because I'm having to film from a fairly oblique angle. Ugh. You can only shoot diagonally, not straight up. That's annoying. You've fallen out of your window. Now, that's just rude. Jumpy, jumpy. Good God, Robocop can really jump, despite the fact he weighs 93 tons. Well... This appears to actually be a game as opposed to a weird ROM hack or something, so that's all good. All right, you can go off and then come back on again. Um, where were we? Yeah, we've got Tiny Toon Adventures. They were quite good games, if I remember. Power Blade, that was quite interesting. Batman and Batman 3. Any of you familiar with the NES will be getting these from the screenshots on the side, I imagine. Tetris 2 kind of looks like Tetris 1, but uh, there was a Tetris 2, wasn't there? I had it for Game Boy, but it works slightly differently. Darkwing Duck. Isn't that quite an expensive cartridge to buy? Yeah, I think it is. Oh, it certainly is in the UK, anyway. Airwolf, Alien 3... A Baron. <laughs> it's just an angry Tengu face. A Baron. Airbnb. There we are. It's Airbnb, the game. I've got to have a go on that. Yeah. You see, if you've booked an Airbnb and it ends up like that shack with a spooky face flying out of it, that's not good. Right, he's gone. Spooky noises. What, what's going on? Oh. Remember what you said about it being English only? Hmm. Well, I ain't got a clue about that. Let's just start it. Uh, press start from Shadow... Shadow Giant Nose Tengu Guy. Copyright 1990, Mildak and Live Planning. Good for you. Easy, yeah, that'll do. Just show us the games. We'll see what it's like, really. So we're in America now. What? The face has flown off to America. We've got... Oh, no, we are the face. Holy shit! That is blowing the crap out of the buildings there. Bloody wars! This is a very strange game. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. This is how Airbnb works. If you leave a bad review, they'll just totally uh, destroy your entire city. Um, yeah, one button doesn't do anything. One, and every time you fire, you shoot forward and also drop little bombs to blow up things on the floor with. 
You appear to be killing the people who appear as well. Yeah, because they're on the people chucking bombs at you. Much like in Rampage. I know, going to, sorry. Moved it away there. I was getting too much into playing it. Um, this is very odd. There's an awful lot of collateral damage. If I made this game, I would call it Big Tengu Mast Collateral Damage Simulator 1990 Cool Turbo High Octane Championship Edition. Because I like concise titles. Oh, I caught somebody there saying help or something. I don't know. I've killed it because I wasn't watching what I was doing. Ah, uh, what a tragedy. What a bizarre game. What all that was about. Um, go on, let's keep going through. See what else we got. Uh, Ebony, Airwolf, Alien 3, Nyankees. Nice. Astro Max, Banana Nan, the Banana Nan Nan, Nan 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 Nan, Battle Formula, Captain Subasa 2. Yeah, I haven't played Captain Subasa 1. I might not be able to pick up the story. Bruce Lee 2. I've played that. When did I play it? Probably when I was playing about this, actually, thinking about it. It was a lot like um, Kung Fu Master, the old arcade game. In fact, it was more like the sequel to Kung Fu Master. Uh, Vigilante, was it called? Can't remember now. Bubble Hobble, Bubble Bobble, Blub Blub Blub, Bubble Bubble Par. Don't know which version that is. Bucky O'Hano, that is definitely a rare cartridge. Captain American. When Captain American throws his mighty shield, he wonders why he's got an extra end on his name. Caveman Ninja, that'll be Joe and Mac. Then Cliffhanger from the old uh, Stallone film, I suppose. Wampum, what if I don't want to? Contra 24 in 1. Oh, I've got to have a go. Contra 24 in 1. Um, so Contra is Grisor, um, or the American name for Grisor. And the NES version is really, really good. Like proper good. Okay, so it slides on from the side. One player. How is this 24 and 1 so far? I am confused. Oh god, I used to play this for hours in the bloody arcade. I've never properly played the uh, NES version, but it does indeed look mighty good. Ooh, oh, which ones are? Oh, rapid fire. Hey! Eat lead death. No, I cannot play this now, but I shall certainly come back and play that later because I bloody love that. Right, uh, where were we? I forgot which number we've got up to. We shall soon find out. There we are. Um, Contra 24 and 1. Yeah, I don't know how that was 24 and 1. Cyberball, Dragon Spirit, Harry's Legend. Which Harry is that? Harry Potter? Nope. Very much not Harry Potter. Uh, final mission, Fire and Ice. Ah, I see what's happened there. Guerrilla War, War Wolf. I've played that in the past. Gun Deck, Gun Knack. But the, all the gun family are there. Mylon's Secret Car. Hunt for Red Octob. Ah, good old Red Octob. Ikari 3, that was the crappy third Ikari Warriors game where you just punched people, wasn't it? I'm trying to, Ikari Warriors 2 was weird. Was that Victory Road? When that uh, head flies on at the start and says, rah, 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 You'll never beat me. I've clearly a man who works in the office. He's done a voiceover. Indiana Jones. Great screenshot there. Just Indiana Jones going to the toilet or something. Uh, Kung Fu Isolated. Which, uh, what is your Kung Fu? Oh, it's literally Kung Fu Master. That makes sense. Jackie Chan. Jungle Book. Jujuuki, Kabuki, Kage, Karnov, Kickmaster. That sounds good. Kayoki, Tiger. Look at this, all your favourites. I don't think we'll show any more. I think they're all going to be fairly normal. Except I've just seen... Oh, New Zealand story. There's a classic. Mortal Kombat 4. How was that POW? The old yeah, the old oh man, my memory of POW in the arcade is um, one single punch would send an enemy flying about four hundred feet through the air. It was a bizarre game. Mortal Kombat Four. I'm pretty sure that wasn't released the NES, was it? Well, let's have a look. Let's start. This is looking very rom hacky. I can be Nightwolf, Sub Zero, Sonya Blade, Liu Kang, uh, Striker. Is that Shao Kahn? I'm not entirely sure. And Kano. And then all the others are just the same, in different colours. Well, let's be Liu Kang, because he had the easiest moves, usually. You know what, get on with it. So these are actually Mortal Kombat 3 characters, all of them, so that's good. Yeah, whatever, Nightwolf. That's not Nightwolf, that's... It says Nightwolf, it's bloody Shao Kahn. Come on, guys. None of his uh, moves seem to be working particularly well. And by particularly well, I mean at all. Go on. Nope. See, all his moves are just push forward, forward and something, but they're not doing anything. However, you can just get uh, Nightwolf stroke Shao Kahn in the corner and kick the living crap out of him, so that's quite nice. This is very janky, to say the least. Oh, blimey. Come on, do, do a move or something. Yes! There we are, we've got the ducking fireball. Yay, I think we've won. Yay. What a time was had by us all. Well, that's a thing, isn't it? Go on. We'll have a quick look through the last few games. I'm going to nip back and uh, go from the top. Wacky Races! Oh, man, I remember the Dreamcast. Oh, 
It looks like a platform with Muttley in. That's not really a wacky race, is it? Goonies, Solomon's Keep, Circus Charlie. You've got no Zelda, but you've got Circus Charlie. Uh, Soul Brain, Heavy Barrel, Spider-Man, Street Fighter 2. Intre oh. That ain't Street Fighter. That's Street Fighter 2000 and whatever, isn't it? The ridiculous non-canonical semi-official spin-off thing where you're like Ken Masters in the future or something ludicrous and he's a robot and everything's crap. Wolverine Summer Carnival. Looks more like a space shoot -em up Legend of Kage, Dead Fox, Swordmaster, Terminator 2, is that? T2? Is that Arnie there fighting a man with a stick? Quite possibly. Power Rangers 2, Race America, RAF World, or RAF World possibly. Little Nemo Dream Master, I know that one. Roller Games, SD Hero, Super Deformed Hero, or maybe he's got a load of memory cards. Dark Man, the weird forgotten semi-superhero film with Liam Neeson in. Side Pocket, Silkworm, oh that's a good one. Snow Brothers, another good one. Uh, POW, blah blah. Well, we've pretty much gone round them all now. There we are. You sit over there and be all unlicensed and probably not that legal. So yeah, um, it's an interesting little device. It costs uh, $40, which is about £31. You can get it from bit2boy.com. Um, I don't know. The weird thing about that uh, SD card, it almost makes me want to say, hey, if you wait, you might get one where you can put your own ROMs on, but again, it might never happen, so maybe that's not a thing. But it is a really nice little unit. Uh, it's super portable. Battery lasts, um, you know, long enough, but the thing is, everybody's phone charger will charge it anyway, so that's quite handy. Um, it's just a nice little thing to play about on and not have to worry too much about, really, if you just want some uh, NES games on the go, or Famicom games on the go, to be a little bit more precise. Um, hmm... It does make me wonder why Nintendo haven't released... Um, they're doing their, you know, little NES and little SNES. Surely they should do a little Game Boy with an improved screen. Um, you know, something in a form factor probably not entirely different to that. And they'd sell, like, hot cakes rather than, you know, weird new versions of the DS. But there we are. That's up to them, isn't it? Um, yeah. Nice little unit. If you can get the version with 300 games, definitely go for that. But how you tell, I don't know, because it said 300 on the box. But yeah, until uh, Nintendo get their acts together, if they ever do, this is a nice option. Monster. Monster. Monster.